Hello, I'm Simon Shaykhet. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Despite Governor Whitmer's insistence that her executive orders remain in effect for 21 days, Attorney General Dana Nessel says her office will no longer enforce those orders. Many police departments get their direction from the Attorney General. And with the AG not enforcing these orders, it's likely they won't either. But businesses still have the right to require masks and social distancing, and some counties like Oakland County have even decided to make their own orders requiring masks. Buses in the city of Detroit will be up and running again Monday, bringing an end to the driver walkout that started Friday. An agreement released Sunday designed to serve as a start to resolving a number of concerns. Under the agreement, drivers will undergo de-escalation training, have more police walkthroughs on buses, and the city will provide extra masks for passengers, something drivers say has been an issue. The union also expects to have more regular meetings with the mayor. Voters in Detroit will have more options to cast their ballots starting Monday. The city opening 23 satellite voting centers in the morning. They'll be open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on weekends. There's also seven standalone secure ballot drop boxes throughout the city. You'll find the full list of locations at WXYZ.com. Here's meteorologist Mike Taylor now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Thanks, Simon. We're going to have some cooler conditions that are going to move in. So the frost advisory is back. It's not for all of Metro Detroit. In fact, closer to the city, I'm thinking we'll have lows in the 40s, but outside the city, that's when the 30s begin to move in.